Hello everybody, how's it going? Kazudun here. Um, I have an interesting story for you. It's not a very good one, but it's interesting to me. Um, I guess we'll start with... Hmm, where should I start it? Let's just start it with StarCraft. Number one thing you should know, StarCraft is normally an incredibly stressful game for me to play. Um, the main reason I stopped playing it is because it's just way too much. And anybody who's ever played StarCraft, uh, at least ranked, or any, you know, any melee StarCraft probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, and so, the last time I really was interested in StarCraft was actually the Wings of Liberty beta, if you can believe it. I bought Wings of Liberty, and that was fun, but I, God, the, well, my computer died, and so I went a good couple months without a computer. Uh, don't know how I survived those couple months, I don't understand it, but I'm alive, I have another computer, seems to be okay. Um, and after I got th th that computer, I just sort of didn't care for it anymore. I, I once in a while, you know, off and on play the game, but I can't handle too much of this game because it is such a stressful game. But, uh, since I started playing uh, Heroes of the Storm, which is a f oh, such a fun game, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Something happened in my brain, I think. I'm not really sure what happened here, but I was watching a Heroes of the Storm uh, stream from the Blizzard um, community managers, and I I just wanted to play StarCraft all of a sudden. So I was like, well, okay, let's try that. So I went over here and I clicked on this play button, and it was a little bit nerve-wracking, and normally this is like the last button I want to push in this game. Even though I really do enjoy this game, it's, I can't stress how stressful this game is um, but anyway I, I clicked on the button and I played a game and it was I've I gotta say my very first at least for a very 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 like 10 years long time uh, game where there was absolutely no stress whatsoever like last time I played a game of Starcraft without stress without feeling without feeling stressed at all <laughs> which is it kind of blows my mind now that I think about it that a game can cause stress like such visible stress stress anyway last time i played a game without stress in starcraft was when i was got to be about 12 years old and i was using all the cheats against the computers and i didn't know you could play online so that was interesting anyway yeah so just now what happened is i clicked the, the button and i played an entire game and i wasn't i didn't lose my mind like i normally do i wasn't stressed my heart rate wasn't through the roof it was really, really nice, so that was cool, so I started another game, and once again, no stress, oddly enough. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to show this game off. Yesterday I tried to, I really did, uh, which is why I'm in silver. I tried to record an episode yesterday, um, but I was completely out of my mind for that entire game, and trying to talk and stuff, and I, I just wasn't mentally prepared to deal with it. So. For some reason, I'm not sure what's going on today, but I'm able to play this game and enjoy it too. Which sounds like that's what's supposed to happen, but with a game as intense and competitive as StarCraft, you either have a lot of fun with the game, or you do really well. And today, having fun seems to be winning out. And I'm doing well as well, because I'm not out of my mind. Oh, perfect, Terran. I've got a new idea for Terran, and I'm very sorry, I'm still kind of sick. Oh, I like this map too, because that's the map I just won on. Um, anyway, I got a new idea for playing against Terran, which is to be aggressive. Now, m normally what happens when you play against Terran is you sit in your base, and you, you put observers, little invisible floaty dudes, who spot things, even invisible things, around your base. Because what Terran like to do is fill up a bunch of... Um, we can call them dropships. They're called medivacs. We'll call them dropships. Fill them up with marines and marauders and things, and they drop right into your base. Oops. And they kill off your, your probes, which is a massive bummer every time that happens. It's a real bummer. Um, let's do that. And I'm going to do forge fast expand. I don't know how well that works against a Terran, but I'll try it. Um, anyway, what I'm planning on doing instead... Because there's so many defensive measures you have to do against Terran. 
You need Psy Storm, you need Colossi, you need to put the Observers here, you need to put the High Templar here so you can feed back the, the dropship when it comes in, and maybe that'll kill it if it has enough energy to kill it. I know that doesn't make any sense to anybody who doesn't play StarCraft. I'm very sorry, there's no quick way to explain all the stuff that happens in this game. There's just not, so... Anyway, instead of that, I'm gonna throw that uh, idea out, and I've just decided to attack a lot um, as these guys and keep the pressure on them. Uh, let's not do that. And I think that'll do really well, actually. I think that'll really, really help us out. So let's try that. Let's just try getting dudes, getting a lot of them, and attacking as often as we can afford it. Uh, I think that would help a lot. I'm just trying to figure out where do I want this to go? Do I want it to go... I guess... Oh... Let's put it, let's put that guy there, and perfect, there we go. Oh yeah, set up our little things here. Control F1, Control F2, now if I push F1, F2, F1, F2, we can switch back and forth between the bases here. And we're gonna need another one of these, uh, but not there. Let's put it here. Alright. I have yet to send out a scout, that's fine. I really need to get another, um, well, uh, we'll hold off for a little bit. I want to expand. We should be able to relatively soon. I'm very sorry if my keyboard is loud, guys, um, or my clicking or whatever, if that's annoying. I hope it's not too bad. Let's cancel that, guys, so we can get this going a little bit faster. Uh, this is a game where seconds absolutely count, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna need one of these. And just hold this button down until it becomes available. And, oops, C, C, there we go. Spent a little bit more time on that than I got. No need. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my mind again. Hang on, guys. Let me recompose myself. Uh, I'm gonna need another one of these guys here. And as soon as I get the opportunity... You're number one, you're gonna hold position there. I'm gonna make another one of these guys. And I really need some more gateways. Gateways are, yeah, these things, they make warriors. Um, they make the bad guys. One thing I might, oh shoot, I completely spaced on that. Oh jeez, you know what, oh shoot. <laughs> That's right, you need Vespian for that upgrade, don't you? There are two types of resources in this game, minerals uh, and Vespine gas. You'll generally need both of them, but there are some units, such as the Zealot, that only cost minerals. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's try that. Uh, that's too much. And three of these guys is all you need in here. I can build another one of these. Oh, man, how do I not have any of this team? Okay, I should be able to get that. That upgrade is really, really cool. This upgrade right here, Warp Gate, is going to turn these all into a slightly different structure, which allows you to uh, warp in your units anywhere you see this blue stuff here. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I know that warping in doesn't make a huge amount of sense at the moment. Why are you doing that? Let's transfer some dudes over. Get this thing going. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna need this. Just for that. That ability it's got called Photon Overcharge, which basically turns your main building here, this thing is called a nexus, into a giant cannon. That's a lot of fun. This game is kind of ridiculous, man. Like, if you've been playing since Brood War, and you've been following the progression of these games, it doesn't sound as ridiculous as I'm sure that this all does to somebody who has never played or heard of StarCraft before. Yeah, so this thing has a, ne a photon overcharge which turns the nexus into a giant cannon, and we got stalkers who can blink around the place. Good God, I never really noticed that. Uh, this is kind of a ridiculous sounding game. 
Um, okay. We're definitely gonna need a lot of these guys. What else? What else? What else? I need a robotics facility. Oh my god, why is my sister asking about how my channel is going? Why does she care? She shouldn't care about that. Only I should care about how my channel's going. There we go. Now we're gonna see these warp gates in action here. <clears throat> Alright, perfect. Oh, he sees. He sees the robotics. Oh, shoot. I don't have any sentries. Sentries are kind of important. Sentries have a lot of really cool uh, abilities um, that either reduce damage from ranged units or they can lay down things called force fields. Um, yeah, now that he's just scanned this, I don't think he's going to scan it again anytime soon. Let's get an observer. Let's get a few observers. Oh, shoot. More pylons. Uh-oh. Watch out now. And... Now, common... Uh, this is not good. <laughs> <coughs> Dang it. <laughs> Coughing is the worst. Uh, armor. There we go. Let's have a look around. Yeah, let's get a couple of these guys. These guys are really, really useful. And let's get Blink. And now we can afford this thing here, as well as some of those. Action will happen, guys. Don't worry. Here, let's check him. There, now he thinks we're moving out. I feel like he's going to send a drop in from here. Uh, let's get some more of these guys. These guys are really useful. And let's get a couple more of these. As well as that. Ah, I know, I got a message, thank you. So it's important to keep an eye on stuff down here because Terran really liked to do this thing called drop. I'm still having a. Oh, good. God dang, my. I'm so good at this game. I'll tell you. <laughs> there they are. Look at. As built up as ever. Okay, so what could we do against this? He doesn't have anybody. He's got to have an expansion somewhere else. If he doesn't have an expansion somewhere else, I'm expanding. I'll take an expansion if he won't. He really doesn't. Can't forget about your probes. And we'll just keep one of them over here with our army, uh, an observer. Oh, sweet. We need these guys, and they've got an ability on them, of course. There we go, he knows about that. And my observer is going to be kind of integral here. I'm going to keep him around this area. Just to give me a, a bit of a warning as to when he's going to be moving out. So we'll have him hold position right there. Just so I know when to be ready. And these guys are done. So right now, he's going to be, uh, I'm sure he's going to be expecting, we're going to want Immortals, actually, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Ground armor, level blah, 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 whatever. And a few more of these to boot. This is going to be really good. Let's get, oh, let's absolutely get charge. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Charge and Chrono Boost are the same buttons. There we go. We need that. And we are going to need another one of these. There he is. Uh, Photon Overcharge. Look at that. Keep her alive. And we can pretty much attack now. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let's do something kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... I, I, I really have a hard time believing that he would have expanded on that. It was such a small attack. There's no way. Oh, wow, I didn't realize the, the observer actually has a reflection. Look at that. Look at, check it out. It's a reflective surface. Check it out. Oh, look. Oh, that's cool. 
Um, yeah, attacking up that would be absolute suicide without at least some immortals. Um, so let's get a few more of them, and zealots are really not what you need in this situation. Archons are pretty good, stalkers are really good. We could do a storm drop. Oh, that would be fun. Let's try that. Let's have a look over here. Um, yeah, I... It's not really... Let's take these guys and move them down here. Let's do a quick uh, storm drop in here, shall we? I don't know how well this will go. Oh, shoot. There. Now let's attack. Sometimes that's all it takes. And we'll get some more pylons off the back of that. Oh, wow. I expected full retaliation off the back of that there. But if that's not the case, very well. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Alright, more of these. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, if, you, if you're somehow able to play this game without any stress, it is so much more enjoyable. Um, so far he doesn't, I mean, I could essentially just starve him out with this, which I think I might honestly want to do, so I'm going to expand down here. I mean, if he's not willing to move out and take expansions for himself, that'll just let me keep going. <clears throat> so let's just do that. Let's, I, something about the fact that he's not, uh, let's get a couple more of these guys. This I'm slightly disturbed by this. Here. He's gotta have some bases somewhere. He's gotta have something. Um, let's... I mean, while we're rolling in the cash... Oh, that's a waste. That's not a good place for that. Yeah, while we're, while we're just kind of rolling in the dough here, I might as well... Put a few cannons up, just in case he thinks he's gonna try to drop. <laughs> and drop, that's what I did. I dropped him, essentially. Um, what I did technically, or, oh, not that one. Officially, um, I feel like we could use a few more zealots just as a buffer. Zealots are really good in, in big numbers. I never got this? Oh, stop pushing that. More pylons. Vespine is as important as ever. Alright, perfect. Let's do a quick transfer here. And a quick transfer here. Uh, let's see here. And while we're doing that, we might as well just take another. He have, He's really not expanding anywhere. I'm maxed out. Okay, hang on, guys. Oh, he's not chasing. Yeah, I mean, I can... Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's put a couple of these down here. Just so I can reinforce pretty much instantly. Got a couple of guys not doing anything. We'll just do that. Um, let's put on more gateways. I mean, why not? Gateway land. There we go. Here we go. I see it. That's it? That's all he's got? I can seriously kill that, like, immediately. Sort of like that. Oh, 
Well, that happened. <laughs> Alright, I think normally if I were stressed out, as stressed out as I normally am in these games, I, I'm sure I would have lost that somehow. Uh, I would have found a way. But for some reason, I don't know, it's, it's just not as scary a thought of... Losing is not important to me anymore. Uh, and neither is winning. I don't know. The, the ultimate... The thing that causes the most amount of stress <coughs> is losing. Because losing in this game has got to be one of the worst feelings ever. I mean, really. It really makes you feel pretty awful. Um, and for some reason, I've just sort of stopped caring about losing. Go figure. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly uh, did. Um, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.